The 2021 Formula 1 World Championship is just coming towards its end and with just 5 races to go we have no clue who is going to be the champion both on the team side and on the driver side. So I already made a video telling you who I think will be the champion for each championship so check that out after you watch this one. But today let's focus on the key factors that are going to decide the World Constructors Championship over the next 5 rounds. Hey what's going on everyone, Vasco here and welcome back to the channel, let's get to it. So if you look at the two title contenders for the World Constructors Championship, it's Mercedes and Red Bull. And I think that both teams really want this title because we don't really know who is going to win the World Drivers Championship, so they both want to get this title in the bag just in case they don't win the other. And this title is also very important for the budget that they are going to have next year. So this is the one, the Constructors Championship, is the prize that actually decides which team gets more prize money and not the driver's championship. So this is very important for both teams to get the most prize money possible in order to develop the cars for the new regulations. And with Lewis and Max being almost level-headed on points, so Lewis is actually 12 points behind Max, but I think that towards the end of the championship, no driver is going to be more than 5 to 10 points in front of the other one, and I think that the championship will only be decided on the last round. So what is going to happen is that Lewis and Max, even though they are the top scorer for the team, they will not be the one that will decide the position on the World Teams Championship, because if they are almost level-headed on points, even though they brought the majority of the points, their points almost have no meaning other than to put them in the top two places, of course. So I think that the deciding factors will actually be Valtteri Bottas and Sergio Perez. So both of the so-called number two drivers will be the ones that will actually decide the championship. So whichever driver of those two can get just behind Max and Lewis for the remaining races, will be a key factor once all the championship points are awarded. And another key factor will be which of those two drivers can put the fastest laps in in order to make sure that the points don't go towards Max or Lewis's rival. So if you are Sergio Perez, you really want to make sure that you have the fastest lap point in order not to put that pressure on Max and steal the point away from Lewis. So it will really take into account every single point and I think that the World Constructors Championship has the potential to be even closer than the Drivers' Championship. Now let me tell you why. If you look at the first races of the season, Sergio Perez actually took a while to get used to the Red Bull and I only think that about three to four races ago, so after the summer break, is when he got used to the Red Bull. So Valtteri Bottas in that meantime has been getting consistent podiums and he got a win in Turkey. So both Sergio and Valtteri have one win each, but Valtteri has more points and more podiums. So up to this point he's still being more consistent. But I honestly think that Sergio really found something with the Red Bull and if you look at his performances in the last couple of races, you really think that he discovered something with the setup of that Red Bull car that he didn't know previously. Quick pit stop. If you're enjoying this video, it would mean the world to me if you could like and subscribe. I'm really trying to hit that 500 subscriber mark by the end of the year, so it would mean a lot if you could help me do that. So with that said, back to the video. So I think that Sergio Perez will actually outscore Valtteri Bottas for the remaining of the season. But looking at both drivers' forms in this test of the season, I think that the points difference between Mercedes and Red Bull is small enough so that if Sergio Perez actually outperforms Valtteri Bottas for the remaining of the season, I think that Red Bull will be able to nail that final Constructors' Championship points that they need to win the championship. And I think that with Sergio being so quick on that Red Bull and with Adrian Newey back after his injury and with Max outscoring Lewis at tracks where we expected Lewis to win, I think it will be very tricky for Mercedes to actually win the World Constructors' Championship this time. And think with me, if you're Valtteri Bottas, at this stage of the season, you don't really care what happens to the World Constructors' Championship. So if you're a driver that's going to a new team and these last five races are probably your last chances at winning any of the championships, you probably really want to win the most races possible and not necessarily be a team player that's going to help to get the Constructors' Championship because if you look at, at a driver like Valtteri Bottas, he already has four or five World Constructors' Championship and what does that mean to him as a person? Probably not a lot, he probably helped, but he really wants that World's Drivers' Championship. And by going to Alfa Romeo, he's probably not going to get it. So what he wants 
is really to win the most races possible in order to fill his own personal trophy cabinet and get the best results for himself. Whilst if you look at Sergio Perez, he's getting to gripes with that Red Bull, he has a contract for next year and no other driver in the recent Red Bull history has been able to get such good performances and such consistency as what Sergio is delivering this year. So I really like Alex Albon and Pierre Gasly, but I think that Sergio is really adapting more to that Red Bull car than both of them. And I'm really happy to see Albon back on the grid next year. I think that Red Bull burned him very quickly and too quickly, and you shouldn't do that to young drivers. So they did that with both Pierre and with Alex, but Al Alex's case was actually worse because he got left out of Formula 1. But that's out of the conversation entirely, that's a conversation for another video, let me know if you want to see that. But for this year I think that Sergio with the motivation of being in that Red Bull car for next year and we never know how the next year's car is going to drive. So Sergio is obviously going to have more input on that car than on this year's car because he just came into the team. So we never know. Sergio may be a world champion if the new regulations suit him and if Red Bull is able to deliver another title competitive car, which I think they will honestly because they are in such a great path with both the power unit and the air regulations. And if you look at the remaining races, you would got Mexico, Brazil, Brazil, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Abu Dhabi coming up and in my opinion in Mexico Sergio will be in his own turf, he will be in his zone, he will have all of these fans, he will have entire grandstands of fans wanting him to win that race so his motivation is going to be peak and that Red Bull is usually better than the Mercedes at that track so I think that Sergio will outperform Valtteri very easily and that Brazil the same thing the Red Bull is really been good at Brazil so Max hasn't won the last couple of years only because of that incident with Ocon but he won last year so I think that he will be able to win the race and Sergio will again be on the podium and I think that for one of these races Sergio has a really good shot of winning or at least being in second place with Max first. So this will put Red Bull really level headed or in front of Mercedes in the championship, in the world team's championship that is and then we have the three Saudi Arabia, Qatar and uh, Abu Dhabi races which I think that can really suit either car because Qatar we don't really know which team will win but I think that that's the only race where Valtteri actually has a chance of outscoring Paris because I think Qatar will really suit that niche of tracks where Valtteri is good and it's probably an opportunity for him to grab his last win but if he grabs that last win he really takes a win away from Lewis, so the Mercedes points really don't come up, whilst I think that Red Bull will always prioritize Max and will always assure that the 1-2 is Max Perez and not Perez Max. So I think that the last two races in Saudi and Abu Dhabi are really more suited towards Mercedes, but I think that Red Bull can surprise and I think that Perez is really more adaptable than Valtteri at this point and Valtteri will be on his last races with Mercedes so the motivation might ju not just be there so I think that the Constructors Championship will be decided by this and I think that Red Bull will come up on top. So this has been it for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to check that video that I mentioned about who I think will win each of the championships. Of course you know that I think Red Bull will win this one but then we need to talk about the World Drivers Championship so check that video out in order to know my thoughts. So this been it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. So this been it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.